Wow, I just got the brand new Envision kit from Renesas, so I'm very excited to try it out. This is the Envision kit, a rapid prototype board from Renesas. In a nice and clear package. Wow. On the back, there's a quick start guide. More information is available on the Renesas website. So let's see what we have inside. Ah, that's useful. They included a USB cable. Wow. Look at this. Beautiful. This is the Envision kit based on the RX65X Advanced Microcontroller from Renesas with a big display, almost the same size as the PCB. So let's take this off. The resolution of the display is wide QVGA, that is 480 by 272 pixels. The touch is connected to the I2C. So let's see what we have on the back. This is the RX 65N Advanced in LQFP144 package. We have an onboard E2 Lite debugger under the cable connecting the display. The USB microconnector is also powering the board. There's an onboard QSPI serial flash to extend the 2 MB RX flash. The USB 2 host could be connected to a USB K used as a mass storage, for example. We have a lot of possibilities to connect additional extensions, for example, through PMOD based peripherals and through other IOs, through Ethernet. And this requires an additional PHY and surface mount connector. You could add a SD host interface. And this requires an HDHI connector and power management IC. You could add a joystick, providing switch inputs for left, right, up, down and center, mapping to RX65N interrupt ports. And last but not least, to expand the functionality with Arduino style shields. There is no external SRAM on the board. That demonstrates the ability of the RX65X to drive the display with a huge internal 640 kilobyte of SRAM. Okay, so let's connect the board with the USB cable to a power bank and see the demos coming with the kits. Wow, this is a nice GUI. It shows four different buttons for four different demos. The GUI was made with Sega MWIN. Renesas offers RX65X customers MWIN from Sega for free. Free of charge, no cost when using the RX65. What a great value. So let's see demo number one. Demo number one is a 2D drawing engine. Okay, so clouds are moving in the background and you can move around the RX logo and it all behaves very smoothly. And there's a 2D drawing engine off and on button, so switch off the 2D drawing engine and the clouds are moving less smoothly in the background. So let's discover again what's happening if I switch it on. Clouds are moving very nice and very smooth. Back to the home screen. Let's have a look into the next demo. The bouncing ball demos. So let's see. A lot of balls popping in flowing in more and more and there's again the possibilities to switch off the 2D accelerator so let's switch it off and see what's happening ah, the balls are moving less smooth than before switch it on again and they're jumping now very very smooth again nice demo so back to the home screen let's see what the third demo brings the one Mandelbrot demo so we see Mandelbrot demo using the floating point unit of the RX V2 core. And let's see. So we can zoom in to see more the details. And we could also switch off the FPU. So let's see what's happening then. Oh, you see it takes more, more time to calculate the Mandelbrot. And switch it on again. And we see the calculation is done very, very fast. Okay, let's go back to the home screen to have a look into the fourth demo. The fourth and the last demo is a bunk swap demo. The RX 65X Advanced has two flash banks. This can be used for firmware updates. When the new firmware was programmed to the second flash bank, we can simply swap the vector table and execute the new firmware. So let's try this out. In bank A, we are running the revision 
0.9 and we want to swap to the bank 2 firmware version 1.02 so we simply press the swap button and we see some status information and we swap the vector table and see now the new firmware so the new firmware um, is telling us touch the screen to start the user program sequence so we start the screen and we see a new firmware now with a swap button again so that means we can swap back to firmware revision on bank A so let's swap back we see some status information and we swap back to the original firmware wow this is fantastic the envision kit from renaissance really enlightened me